Welcome to this tonal lesson. It's one of the most important lessons because if you don't master this, you'll find it very difficult to paint from life. It's a lesson that you need to do for all mediums of paint, whether you're working in oils, watercolours, pastels, sketching. I started every medium I ever learned by doing the tonal scales. You could think of it like the pianist playing the scales. If you can do this and master it, and then repeat these scales, even when you feel you've mastered them, keep doing them all through your whole painting career. You will, oh, you will just be so far ahead of the hobby painter. It's the secret, really. When I'm painting here, the black swan. There's so much light and shade. It's not just black. It's the same as if I was painting a white swan. It's not just white. There's so much darkness. It's light and shade, tonal values. So I'll give you the scales that you can practice. You're going to need a canvas board or you can just use a piece of textured um, paint, strong paper. You can get um, canvas paper, which is cheaper than a canvas board. I'd suggest about a 9 by 12 size. Of course, if you're doing this in acrylic, you can just do this on strong paper. And uh, if you're working with your watercolours, you use a watercolour paper. You won't need an expensive one because this is just for practice, just for learning. And it's something you're going to need to do a lot. Once you've mastered your light and shade, then you can come into your colours and you can start learning to apply colour and yes, you can have a lot of fun. But uh, we're going to start off with this practice work in the light and shade. I'd suggest you have nine brushes to start with. Hog hair brushes for oil paints and flat brushes are ideal for the job, but you could use round brushes or filbrick brushes, which are a flat brush with a curved tip. Uh, it doesn't matter. The reason I'd suggest nine brushes because I'm going to teach you nine tones. Here we're putting in two columns and there's going to be nine spaces down for nine tones. Now, I don't want you to get a ruler out and measure them. I want you to try to assess just simply looking at the amount of space that you've got to work and try to work out what would be nine equal spaces. We're not aiming for perfection. It's all practice. It's a scale. It's, it's something to practice. And every time you do it, you'll get better at it. <laughs> now, I've actually... Um, doing this particular subject with a broken right hand. This is going back before Christmas. Um, it's quite a few months back. Uh, my hand's fine now. Anyway, I deliberately did this exercise um, with my left hand, with my right hand out of action, because I normally am not ambidextrous and I'm not very skilled with my left hand and so it's putting me forcing me in a position of painting like a beginner would which uh, is where most of you will be starting and you can see how little control I'm having with this left hand and my spacing you know, is not particularly good so the first thing I did was do I put down the lightest tone white I put down the darkest tone black and then I mixed the middle tone, the tone I believed to be halfway between black and white. Then I've come in now with the quarter tone, the tone that I believe should be halfway between the middle tone and the lightest tone. The way I assess if I've got the tonal mixture right is I hold my brush over each of the two tones either side of it and I try to assess if so you see I held it against the middle tone and the darkest tone to assess whether or not there's the same amount of jump of tone between and if it's not I go back and I keep mixing until I've got the same amount of 
jump the tonal value between and then when I think I've got it right I put down my medium dark tone See, so I put down light tone dark tone middle tone which is a value of five if you're talking about your black being a zero and your white being a ten and then you go and put down as I said your medium light medium dark when you've done that you strive to put the tonal value in between now we didn't measure these spaces you've got to try to assess them with your eye so it's excellent training not just in tone but in spacing in seeing the shape of things and the proportions and the places that these tones are to go and this is wonderful training for when you go to paint it is probably a lesson you think is one you'd play to put yourself to sleep I agree it doesn't look all that interesting but it's so important I'm using a different brush for each tone and the reason I'm doing that is because that's how I also paint when I'm painting a flower study I'll grab a different brush for each tone so you need a brush for every tone that you're painting and if you want to do the whole painting without changing brushes a lot you also would grab a new brush for each tone of each major color that you're working with and that's why a lot of us artists will be working with not just nine brushes but if we're working with a three color palette you might be working with 27 brushes or you know multiply that by how many colors you're putting in the painting and that just allows us to just work spontaneously freely impressionistically from beginning to end in a painting without too many interruptions to stop and clean brushes cleaning brushes will be another tutorial demonstration that I'll do for you I'll take you through all the step-by-step -step beginner lessons whether you're beginner intermediate or advanced if you're one of my students I like to start you with beginner lessons because I don't know what gaps you might have in your education and by doing it this way I can take you through from beginner through to advanced standard I've taught many of my students to become award-winning major artists and uh, I hope I can do that for you if that's what your goals are your passions are because I'm going to try to teach you what you need to know to have the skill of being an artist to have the skill of being able to paint anything that you can see it's enormously rewarding I can tell you it's frustrating because it just needs practice sir just just know that you don't need talent you just need the desire you need good materials to work in whatever medium you're working with get yourself good materials and yeah, just practice 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 what I'm doing here I picked up a soft brush and now I'm just blending away the edges between each of these tonal shapes and so one of these columns will be a blended tonal scale and the other will be a tonal scale without any blending and these again are teaching the skill of putting one tone down against another tone where you leave a clean edge a hard edge it's called in painting and the other side you're lending to a blended tone where you have soft edges painterly edges and again it's a marvelous skill by learning to practice this tonal scale of going from the lightest light through to the darkest dark through this nine tonal values and having one side blended one side with the hard edge marvelous marvelous skill what I'll be doing now will be taking you through to actually painting objects so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.